مرحبا بكم في الدرس الثاني من دروس كيف تتعلم اللغات الأجنبية هذا هو الفيديو الثاني The Limits of Language Teaching Language needs to be discovered It cannot be taught to an unmotivated learner اللغة تحتاج لأن تكون أن تكتشف ولا يمكن تعلمها لشخص غير محفز ليس لديه حافز للتعلم unmotivated learner becoming a linguist depends on you not on schools or teachers أن تكون شخص يتحدث باللغات linguist يعتمد عليك depends on you وليس على المدرسة أو المعلمين not on schools or teachers language teachers are dedicated to helping you improve but they cannot make you fluent you have to acquire the language yourself معلم اللغة قد يساعدونك على التحسن improve لكن لا يمكن أن يجعلك طليق اللسان fluent عليك أن تكتسب اللغة بنفسك you have to acquire the language yourself the teacher can stim stimulate explain and provide the best possible language resources المعلم قد يزودك بموارد تعليم لغة جيدة ويفسر explain provide the best possible language resources after that you must take charge and pursue your own learning بعد ذلك يجب أن تتحمل مسؤولية take charge وأن تتابع تعلمك Pursue your own learning according to your own interests and nature. طبقاً لاهتماماتك وطبيعتك. According to your own interests and nature. If you do that, you will learn naturally and without stress. The language of one. The language classroom is too often an artificial environment where the emphasis is on teaching the language according to a timetable imposed by the curriculum. المدرسة هي غالبا بيئة اصطناعية artificial environment يعني ليست طبيعية حيث يكون التأكيد على تدريس اللغة where the emphasis is on teaching language طبقا لجدول زمني يفرضه المنهج according to a timetable imposed by the curriculum the expectation is that the teacher will impart language knowledge or skills in a certain order والمتوقع expectation هو أن المعلم سينقل مهارة ومعرفة اللغة في ترتيب معين will impart language knowledge or skills in a certain order order هنا نظام ثاني نظام as long as the textbook is covered in the prescribed time period and test scores are positive the assumption is that the language has been learned Unfortunately, the results in terms of fluency are mostly disappointing. وطالما ما أن الكتاب المدرسي قد تم تغطيته في الوقت المحدد (prescribed time period) وأن نتائج الاختبارات هي إيجابية (test scores are positive) (positive) فالافتراض هو أن اللغة قد علمت يعني تعلمها الطلاب. The assumption al iftirat Lakin li su il hat Unfortunately Fa an nataij fi ma yata'allak bi At talaqa Ghaliban ma takun Mukhayiba li l-amal Disappointing Disappointing In terms of Fi ma yata'allak bi In terms of The language classroom can be stressful فصل تعلم اللغة غالبا ما يكون قد يكون مرهقا مرهقا stressful أو يؤدي للضغط stress the learner 
often dislike having the teacher correct them in front of others. المتعلمون غالبا ما يكرهون أن يصحح المعلم أخطاءهم أمام الآخرين. Dislike لا يعجبه لا يحب dislike. And are frequently frustrated at their own inability to speak properly. وغالبا ما يكون محبطين لعدم قدرتهم على التحدث بشكل صحيح. Properly, properly بشكل صحيح. Frustrated, frustrated محبط. There is an underlying expectation that the students should perform correctly. rather than just communicate. يعني هنا في المدرسة غالبا ما يتوقع من التلاميذ أن يؤدوا بشكل صحيح perform correctly بدلا من التواصل rather than just communicate. فالتواصل هو المهم ليس أن التواصل بشكل صحيح أو باتباع قواعد صحيحة. The students alternately feel threatened or annoyed by their fellow students depending on whether their classmates are more or less proficient at learning the new language than they are themselves. هنا التلاميذ يشعرون بالتهديد threatened والانزعاج annoyed يكونون منزعجين بسبب زملائهم التلاميذ their fellow students وهذا إذا كان يعني classmates classmates زملائهم في القسم أكثر أو أقل كفاءة منهم كفاءة في تعلم اللغة الجديدة منهم يعني إذا كان تلاميذ أكثر كفاءة في تعلم اللغة الأجنبية منك فأنت تشعر بالتهديد أو الانزعاج the students alternately feel threatened or annoyed by their fellow students depending on whether their classmates are more or less proficient at learning the new language than they are themselves. In the most effective classrooms, it is not the language that is studied but some other subject of interest to the students. في ال... في الفصول الدراسية الأكثر كفاءة effective ليست اللغة هي التي تعلم لكن موضوع آخر يهم التلاميذ هو الذي يعلم other subject of interest subject of interest مادة يعني مهمة بالنسبة للتلاميذ أو يهتم بها التلاميذ In studying another subject the learners absorb the language and are less self-conscious about their own language difficulties in their enthusiasm to communicate about something of interest to them. وإثناء دراسة موضوع مختلف another subject يعني دراسة الجغرافيا أو أي موضوع يعجبك أو السوسيولوجيا باللغة الإنجليزية another subject فالمتعلمون يكونون أو يستوعبون اللغة absorb the language ويكونون أقل خجلا less self-conscious من صعوبتهم اللغوية بسبب أنهم يكونون متحمسين للتواصل للتواصل والتحدث عن الموضوع الذي يهمهم أو شيء يهمهم something of interest to them enthusiasm to communicate الحماس للتواصل In studying another subject, the learners absorb the language and are less self-conscious about their own language difficulties in their enthusiasm to communicate about something of interest to them. Self-conscious تعني حرفيا واعين بذاته لكن هنا المقصود خجول يعني less self-conscious about their own language difficulties أقل خجلا من صعوبتهم اللغوية هذه الكلمة own تستخدم بمعنى يعني فقط للتأكيد بأن language difficulties صعوبة اللغة هي لهم there لهم تأكيد فقط يمكن إزالتها وستحصل على نفس المعنى 
their language difficulties او their own language difficulties فقط للتأكيد وكثيرا ما توجد مثل هذه الكلمات في الإنجليزية أحيانا تقول listen استمع أو listen up up هنا فقط للتأكيد listen up After the learners are exposed to a sufficient amount of interesting content by listening and reading in the language, they gradually become aware of the need for correct structure and word use. Then they are motivated to work on these aspects of the language. بعد تعرض المتعلمين exposed يعني متعرض لي كمية كافية من المحتوى المفيد sufficient amount of interesting content من خلال الاستماع والقراءة by listening and reading in the language فهم يصبحون واعين بشكل متدرج لحاجتهم للغة والاستعمال الصحيح للكلمات They gradually become aware, aware when they gradually become aware of the need for correct structure and albinia sahiha للغة correct structure and the word use استخدام الكلمات word use هذه الكلمة use تنطق use إذا كانت فعل I use أنا أستخدم uses أو use استخدامات then they are motivated to work on these aspects of the language عند ذاك يعني عندما يصلون إلى هذا المستوى يصبحون متحفزين للعمل على هذه الجوانب من اللغة aspects of the language it is best if the learners ask for help as they need it rather than having to respond to the timetable of the teacher من الأفضل أن يطلب المتعلمون المساعدة عندما يحتاجون لها بدلا من أن يكونوا مضطرين لاتباع جدول الزمن للأستاذ أو المعلم rather than بدلا من the teacher is able to correct the students privately or on written content and to offer relevant grammatical explanations as required. المعلم هو قادر على تصحيح التلاميذ بشكل خاص privately يعني بشكل شخصي كل شخص على حدة or on written content أو أن يصحح يعني المقالات التي يكتبونها أو المحتوى الذي يكتبونه written content المحتوى المكتوب and to offer relevant grammatical explanations as required أو أن يقدم تفسيرات لغة نحوية عندما تكون متطلبة as required relevant relevant ذو صلة له علاقة بالموضوع The classroom can be a useful learning environment if it's used in a flexible way which puts the learner and not the teacher in control. Another way in which the teachers rather than the learners control conventional language teaching is through the frequent use of tests to evaluate learners For a variety of reasons, educational authorities find it necessary to try to objectively assess the language competence of non-native speakers. For English, there are standardized tests which go by names like TOEFL, Test of English as a Foreign Language, and TOEIC. Test of English for International Communication and similar acronyms. Acronyms هي كلمات التي هي اختصار لجملة عندما نأخذ مثلا TOEFL هي T و E و F و L اختصار لهذه الجملة عن 
طريق أخذ أوائل هذه الكلمات هذا يسمى أكرونيم These tests may be a necessary evil for university entrance or for job interviews but in my opinion results in these tests are not a reliable indicator of language fluency they should not become an obsession and must never become the goal of language learning the best judge of your language competence is you the learner you know if you can read more easily if you can understand more of what you hear or if you are having an easier time expressing yourself هنا يقول بأن تلك الامتحانات لا يجب أن تكون الحكم فيما تعرفه أو ما لا تعرفه أنت هو الشخص الذي يعرف حقيقة ما هو مستواك في اللغة إذا كنت تقرأ بسهولة تجد أو تجد الصعوبة في فهم القراءة أو ما تقرأه فأنت تعرف ذلك ولا تحتاج إلى أي امتحان ليعرفك إلى ذلك Paradoxically, you will score better on these tests by acquiring a balanced ability in the new language rather than by just studying to pass these tests. هنا يقول بأن الدراسة من أجل أو لغاية اجتياز تلك الامتحانات لن يجعلك تنجح فيها بالضرورة لكن إذا كنت تقرأ تقرأ أو تستمع ولديك قدرة متوازنة في اللغة فسوف تنجح في تلك الامتحانات Too many language learners focus on doing well on these tests rather than learning how to communicate comfortably In preparation for tests especially for the major standard tests students will study word lists which are isolated from any content. They will spend countless hours reviewing specialized books with grammar rules, lists of verbs, phrases, idioms, and sample questions. They study the techniques for getting high scores on these tests. In this way, they pursue study methods that are inefficient, and stressful. In the long run, على المدى الطويل, an undue emphasis on getting a high TOEFL or TOEIC score can divert you from the real goal of achieving fluency in the language. The test is only an interim goal on your way to academic and professional success. Interim مؤقت Interim goal هدف مؤقت If you focus on test results without really learning the language, you're only fooling yourself. تخدعوا نفسك In the end, you will not be able to use the language effectively. There are no shortcuts لا توجد طرق مختصرة To be comfortable in answering most TOEFL and TOEIC questions You need to become familiar with the natural flow of the language in many different contexts This can be best acquired through intensive listening and reading of a wide variety of interesting material while using a program that helps you remember new words and especially the most common phrases. This kind of exposure to the new language in real situations, not studying grammar and word lists, is the fastest and most enjoyable way to learn. يعني هنا يقول بأن التعرض للغة في المواقف الحقيقية real و يعني ليس دراسة القواعد 
لوائح من الكلمات حفظ لوائح الكلمات هذه الطريقة هي الأسرع والأكثر متعة لتعلم اللغة In some countries especially in East Asia fierce competition exists for entry into prestigious schools and universities foreign language ability is an important subject and school children are put through high pressure study programs to achieve good marks on national tests there are cram schools with classes of 50 to 70 people it is impossible to learn to communicate in these situations teachers devote themselves to revealing how to get high marks in this examination hell I can well understand that this kind of teaching will discourage a learner's interest in a new language public school systems everywhere have been widely and successful in teaching second languages this has had a negative influence on language learning many potential linguists are conditioned to think that language is a tedious subject that has to be taught in schools in my own case I found studying theoretical explanations of grammar uninteresting and not an effective way to learn languages يعني دراسة التفسيرات النظرية لقواعد اللغة هو شيء مضجر ممل وغير فعال لتعلم اللغة I resist doing exercises and answering questions that tested my knowledge of grammar يعني يقول لا يجيب على الأسئلة و المتعلقة بالقواعد اللغوية After I left high school I discovered that I learned faster through systematic exposure to the language than if I relied on formal teaching in a classroom environment هنا يقول بأنه بعد أن ترك المدرسة اكتشف أنه تعلم بطريقة أسرع من خلال التعرض للغة بدلا من الاعتماد على طريقة تقليدية أو بيئة المدرسة بيئة الفصل الدراسي After I left high school I discovered that I learned faster through systematic exposure to the language than if I relied on formal teaching in a classroom environment Sentence structures that were strange and difficult at first eventually felt natural if I encountered them often enough in my reading and listening ونقول بأن العبارات أو الجمل اللغوية التي تبدو غريبة وصعبة في البداية أصبحت سهلة بعدما صادفها مدة مرارا وتكرارا I encountered them صادفتها encounter يصادف occasionally I would consult grammar books to answer questions that I had about the language هنا يقول بأنه بعض الأحيان يلجأ إلى قواعد اللغة كتب القواعد ليجيب على الأسئلة التي توجد لديه بخصوص اللغة sometimes the explanations helped and at other times they did not أحيانا ساعدت تلك التفسيرات وفي أحيانا أخرى لم تساعد Much like when I looked words up in a dictionary I would usually remember grammar rules or explanations if I understood them only for a short period of time and then forget them هنا قال Much like يعني بشكل يشبه كثيرا عندما كان ينظر إلى الكلمات في القاموس أو يبحث عن الكلمات في القاموس I looked words up in a dictionary أحيانا يتذكر أتذكر قواعد اللغة والتفسيراتها grammar rules or explanations لكن بعد فترة قصيرة من الوقت 
and Saha only for a short period of time and then forget them. In the end, it was only through enough exposure to the language that my grammar improved. And in the end, the language in a clear way is the one that has been improved in English, in English, in English, in I was prepared to devote considerable effort away from class to listening and reading on subjects of interest to me. This was the natural and enjoyable way to discover the language. I developed my own systems for expanding my usable vocabulary to ensure that I was able to retain words and phrases rather than immediately forget them if I did not see them again for a few days. These methods helped me develop study programs for the linguist. There are undoubtedly learners who are happiest in their structured environment of a conventional language classroom and who are comfortable studying grammar and preparing for tests. Even those learners can benefit from a self-directed learning system like the linguist by customizing the learning process to suit their needs and interests. Learners will find that their classroom language experience will be more effective. In this way, they will also make it possible for themselves to continue progressing in the language after the former classes are ended.